Hello y'all. Welcome to part 12 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. In part 11 we recovered more of Iberia from the 3rd International who was occupying a large portion of it. And we also warded off what seemed like constant naval invasions from the Union of Britain. So let's unpause here and let's also maybe move our air force around because they're all stuck in one giant air base. So we have some fighters here. Move them out of their base. And there we go. Move these fighters to another base and send them up here. They'll do some work in eastern Iberia. Just do some air superiority missions. Send a few more fighters out of that base. It's too crowded here. It really is. Any planes standing by? Yeah, a bunch of them are standing by for no reason. They're just not doing anything. Move to this naval base here, fighting Western Iberia. There we go, they're up in the air. Any more planes we need to move? It's a little crowded in El Marcia, or wherever this place is. Just move more planes out, I guess. Yeah, get a few of them out of Southern Iberia. We basically control that place now anyway. It's fully under our occupation. Well, we fully control it. We took it from the Kingdom of Spain ages ago. Keep moving some more fighters out of here, out of Southern Iberia. It's too crowded in this airbase still. Like 300 more, well, 400 more planes should do it. Send them into maybe, I don't know, send them into more of, yeah, that should do fine. Now we have air superiority, essentially. Now let's drive off the rest of these troops here in Gibraltar before they keep reinforcing these troops. There's like some Matilda tanks here or something. Well, they're not Matilda tanks in this timeline, I think. And we have an autosave right now. That just happened. And we have some more garrison troops. Move them somewhere. More standard divisions here. Give them over to these armies we have in Iberia. Keep pushing. Lend-Lease from Romania. Lend-Lease from the Dutch East Indies. Thank you. More divisions are available. Move them to the First Army. The Fall of New Orleans. That belonged to the American Union State. The Second American Civil War is still taking place. And we're continuing our push. More guns, please. Go all in on guns. Maybe put a little bit more on, perhaps, plane production. The Argentinian Free Territory has joined the Third International. That's the faction we're up against. And move these divisions of the Fifth Army here. And of course, the Third International, well, the Argentinian Free Territory joins the war we're in. Let's try to push into France. Non aggression pact offers from a lot of members of the Reich's Pact in the Mediterranean Axis, who's fighting against the Third International. We say no to that because we have greater ambitions than just defeating the syndicalist faction, but what is basically the syndicalist faction of Kaiser Redux and Kaiser Reich. And let's have these infantry divisions here go join the second army. We're continuing our advance. I may need to make a different template, like raise the amount of soldiers we have in each division, possibly. I don't know. What are we at now? Each division has six. Well, that's due to the, what is it, the combat width. Let's give them a few more battalions. That should do fine. And how much guns do we need? A lot, but we're making like a thousand per day. Tons and tons of guns. We're not having any issues just making more divisions. There's a naval invasion there. Just leave us alone. They're not stopping though. Okay, 8th Army. Just stop this naval invasion that's trying to take place in Morocco. Just get out of here. Get rid of, get out of the port next to the Rift. Just, yeah, get the British out of here. They failed in that naval invasion essentially. Just drive these troops out of here. Is that a floating harbor? Is that what that is? I don't really know how those work. Like at all. Here's some more garrison divisions though. They're going to go out and do some stuff. They don't really need a commander. And have them defend, say, more area defense please. Go to... Maybe they could also defend perhaps places of victory point value. Yeah, they could do that. They might as well. And let's have some more... Well, more lend leases come from the Austin Confederation. Thank you. Those guns will help us out some. Some more ships have been sunk. Is this naval invasion over with yet? No, it isn't. We lost an ace. Print? What was that guy's name? That was strange. Whatever. Okay, that naval invasion has been stopped. Those units are destroyed. Now let's merge the 8th Army with the 1st Army, who's pushing. And let's keep up our advance here. Let's actually move the 1st Army into Army Group 1. And let's readjust this order we ha have for this entire group, which is led by... The field marshal, Rene Gunan, he's a field marshal for his country that he leads. And now let's set up these troops and drive forward into the rest of Iberia and go toward maybe Catalonia, then push into France. There we are. So 
Now let's begin to all-out attack across the lines and try to drive back the enemy once and for all out of Iberia and go back on the offensive in France. And the French are being pushed back. They are fighting on multiple fronts at this point. they got to worry about the Germans constantly. So it's not like they can get, they can, how to say, focus entirely on Spain anymore because it started the Second Veil Creek a while back. And there's probably a huge air battle going on in Western Europe, well, uh, on the French-German border. And now let's start researching assembly line production. It is 1941. Here is, okay, never mind, ace pilot promoted, okay. Let's move these planes out of the, out of the where, out of the, move these planes to a different air base. Go up here, possibly. That's several planes, way too many of them. Keep the naval bombers where they are, actually. They should probably stay in that area. Go back to the west, go back to that air base you were in, please. Go back to down there, yeah, good. Just move back down there. Move these planes back down there, and that should be fine. Still a little bit too crowded, move a little bit of fighters out of here. Take all these planes out of southern Iberia. Put some close air support in eastern Iberia. That's done. Move some of these planes around once more. That's going to be it. Just juggling planes around due to the size of that air base we have. And the Kingdom of Burma declared war into Bataria Commune in India. Keep pushing. We're really driving back the enemy. Here's some unfulfilled import request. Okay. Oh well. Keep getting... Well, now we have Fighter 2. Who dares wins? Okay. Build more military factories. Just build all the military factories we can get in Spain. Because now we control that once more. We need more military factories. All in on military factories. Because we need more guns. Now let's increase production. Well, up change our Fighter 1s. We're producing the Fighter 2s because they're better. Although it may cost more to produce them. Outdated equipment. Okay, never mind. That's old. Research slot available. Get cast 2. Close air support 2. Are we winning yet here? I hope we are. We upgraded our division slightly to have more men in it, so I hope it makes a difference. We may also need to get support artillery at some point. That would probably be a good call, but we're just relying a lot on numbers because we have eight manpower. We are a little broken as a country, which is sort of intentional. Honestly, the esoteric realm of the true France is sort of intended to take over the world. We sort of had a delay in doing that, though, because we had such big issues with the Third International being a pain. And Morocco was, per se, not really ready to fight them. Or I just didn't really manage the resources too well at the time. But anyway, keep pushing here. And Upper Aragon, that's going to be under our control pretty soon. Here's some more divisions. Give them to the who? Give them to the 7th Army. Give a few of them to the... One of them to the 2nd Army. Keep pushing. Just never stop pushing. Drive back the enemy troops with sheer numbers. And I think there's some troops from Argentina here at this point. Oh well, and let's have these units garrison here. Yes, garrison this area. We took it back. That's good. And we have unfulfilled import requests. I think it's rubber related or not. Forget that then. Get some rubber. Canceled lend lease there. Oh well. At least now we're making like 1,000 guns a day. We need to make more though. Just need to up production even more. Go to maybe 100 factories on guns. Hundreds of factories on guns. Just 100 factories. That'd be ideal. 101. And what happened here? Oh, Socialist Republic of Italy capitulated. I don't care too much about this. We don't have enough political power to do anything anyway. We're not too worried about this at all. We don't control nothing. So let's just hit done. And the Italian Federation got all that land. No surprise though, because now... Yeah, they just peaced out because they took control of Italy. Okay then. Alright, so... That's what happened there. The Socialist Republic of Italy was annexed, and now they're out of the Third International because they no longer exist as a country, which is going to benefit us. That's less troops we have to face in this war. More unfulfilled import requests. Just move out of that. Just get rid of that notification pop-up. Keep pushing. Just drive back the enemy. I need to probably make 40 with infantry. I wonder if that would work with Morocco, with the esoteric realm of the true France. I don't know. Keep advancing, though. Drive back the enemy. Can we use a order here? Like... No force attack just yet. Use it for the third army, maybe. And they're sort of in the center. That's going to be done. Can we just win, please? It takes so long to do this. We don't really have a navy to launch any kind of naval invasions either, which is unfortunate. Get this place garrisoned here. Good. And keep pushing into Aragon and Catalonia. Had a victory there. Nice. So just push up here. 
take more places with the Second Army. The Kingdom of Burma declared war on the Socialist State of Siam. All right, our divisions move really fast, too. They have very fast speed to them. So just maybe encircle all these divisions that belong to France or push out of Aragon into, say, France. We'll do that. Just go up here to this port, the Pyrenees Mountains. If we can just get to Navarra, we could possibly have an encirclement, maybe, if we get to Navarra. Before the enemy can do anything about it. Yeah, get to Navarra, and we'll have an encirclement on our hands. More divisions here. They're for the garrison army, though. No commander. They don't need a commander. Go for that port. Okay, they didn't get there in time. Oh, well, can these troops keep advancing, though? Or not? The French are sending more troops to maybe stop us. Annoying, but whatever. And are they going to be able to counterattack us? I don't think they will. They're not going to be able to do it. Keep pushing here. Just drive back this one Italian, this one French division. More infantry is available. Give them, give one division over to the, to the sixth army. There we are, and keep advancing into France. Well, into taking the rest of Iberia. Well, Spain at this point we control all of Portugal. Honestly, yeah, we do. We secured that entire area. Even though Portugal joined the Entente, we're the ones who drove back the Third International who basically destroyed the Portuguese Empire. Keep advancing here. Can we encircle this division, possibly? Yeah, let's destroy this French armored division who is isolated from its allies. They are not going to be able to pierce its armor, but it's whatever. We have huge numbers of troops. We have almost 100 million manpower, and they just have to accept that. So keep making more divisions. Can I make these divisions larger? I think I may do that. You know, that might, be, might not be the best call. Let's do it anyway. Go to our infantry divisions, add one more battalion, do that. The Pope survives an assassination attempt. Now we have one extra battalion in our divisions. We have a bunch of encircled troops here. Destroy them. Get rid of them. More garrison troops. They'll be sent off to the 4th Army, because that's what they do to garrison all day, all night. And try to take here... Where is this? Take this area down here. Being held. Okay, never mind. That's a little easier said than done. More infantry divisions. Give them to the 5th Army. Keep pushing. Push into this area here where this fort is. Well, these forts in this area. How many fort? What level of forts is this? One. One f level fort. Okay. That's not going to do much to us. Now we're going to push there. Get to this area. If we can just take these ports, that will benefit us by having the enemy get encircled for sure. Get some more units here. Move it around. Give the, one of these units to the 3rd Army and two of these divisions to the 1st Army. And there's some one lease from White Ruthenia. Thank you. More garrison troops are available. They go to you know where at this point because you make so many of those divisions so fast. Keep advancing. Never stop attacking. And let's destroy these units we've encircled here once and for all. Belonging to France, the Union of Iceland joins the 3rd International. I would have not done that, but you do you, Iceland. Got your independence, now you join a faction that's most likely going to be destroyed in the near future. Unfulfilled import requests, don't worry about that. And hopefully if we can take this port in Navarra, we can just encircle all of these troops. And the Union of Iceland is called into the war, because of course they are, mistake, but whatever. More divisions are going to go to the 4th Army. And anything else? Okay, more divisions are made to go for the 5th Army. And keep advancing here, we have cut the troops off that were in... Spain in the west. Well, we've taken most of all of Navarra. And let's get rid of these troops in Old Castile. Once this port has fallen, they'll have no... Yeah, they're going to get encircled if they lose that port there. And that is going to benefit us greatly if they do. So let's focus hard on taking that port with all those divisions and maybe move a little bit of close air support to the... what? To this area in western Iberia. Just transfer them there. To provide a little bit of close air support, support, close air support, support, what am I saying? And they'll help out the Moroccan divisions there, so take this area here, and all these French divisions are going to be destroyed, all these third international troops are going to be gone once this place is, yeah, they're, it's over for those guys, they're out of the war, they're going to be destroyed easily. Encirclement penalty, yeah, it's over for them. I think the third international is going to lose a lot of troops now. Well, they already were losing a lot of troops, but now it's going to get really out of control. And here's some more divisions. Oh, no, there's another naval invasion. Why do they always land in places our troops aren't at? Come on. I may just have the garrison force just watch the entire coastline at this point. It's getting ridiculous. Move this general here, 
and do an offensive line. That is the 8th Army. Don't worry about colors or anything. They'll just have their own thing. There'll be a temporary army, possibly. And we're back in France, back in French territory, so to speak. The last time we were here, our army was basically being routed because we had no equipment for them. They just ran out of guns, frankly, even though they had tons and tons of manpower. And I'm going to end part 12 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough and Kaiser Redux here. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. You can check out Kaiser Redux in the video description. The link to the mod is there. Have an awesome day.